How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Vietnamese IP address from anywhere. Now, it's a fairly simple process. There are other ways of changing your IP address, but if you're trying to change your IP address, chances are you're trying to access a uh, Netflix library or you're trying to access a market, a maybe a different market to get discounts, you know, online and stuff like that. So the most reliable and consistent and safest way of doing that is by using a VPN, uh, which will keep everything uh, encrypted. It'll keep your data encrypted and you know, you won't be kind of exposed uh, to uh, your ISP, for example, if you are uh, in a country where you know there are some maybe heavy restrictions or censorship laws or something like that. So I'm using ExpressVPN, but you can also use NordVPN, which I'll explain at the end of the video about NordVPN. But if you're interested in any of these, you'll find links in the description down below to some deals and offers. Now, it's a pretty simple process. As you can see here, I'm connected to France, and if I go to whatismyipaddress.com, it thinks that I'm in France. So what you're gonna do is just go to locations, and it's the same principle in every single VPN. It doesn't matter, you know, you can use the automatic protocol. It doesn't matter what, which protocol you're using. These are, you know, you could just use automatic or, or anything like that, or, or open VPN, but I choose to use Lightway because it's the quickest one, really. Um, I'll, I'll explain a little about the options in a bit, but let's just get through how to get your uh, new IP address or Vietnamese IP address. So just go locations and you can either look it up. Most VPNs have a lookup uh, option and I'm just gonna here, I found it under the Asia category and we are connected. And as soon as I'm connected, I'm gonna hit refresh here and it should now show my country or region or IP address in Vietnam, exactly. So it's as simple as that. Now I can access the Vietnamese market, I can access a Vietnamese Netflix if there's one, and so on and so forth, you get the idea. Now if you wanna understand your, uh, your, your VPN a little bit more, if, you know, if you're just trying to change your IP address and you're not too worried about, let's say, security issues or, or whatever, you don't really have to worry about it anyways with ExpressVPN because ExpressVPN is very, very secure. But if you want to make sure that you're secured, I'm going to turn this off for a, for a little bit. I'm going to bring NordVPN. If you want to make sure you're 100% secure, um, you know, you could make sure that your network clock is on here. It, this will sever your internet connection if you get disconnected from the VPN so that you don't revert back to your ISP servers. Because if you didn't know, if when you're using a VPN, you're using the encrypted servers. And if you get disconnected from the VPN, you will go back to the ISP servers, which are, which are monitored. So the kill switch will make sure that your, uh, your, your internet access will be severed the moment you're disconnected from the VPN so that you know, you're only connected to the internet when your VPN is on and you're encrypted and safe to go. So, I don't need that myself, so I'm gonna keep that off. For protocols, you can just use automatic. I like to use Lightway because it's very quick and it's uh, it unlocks Netflix libraries very reliably. But if you want the safest of options, you can go with OpenVPN UDP. It is the best option available. Okay, and for the advanced section here, you wanna make sure that you're only using ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected. And this will force the ExpressVPN DNS onto your device so that uh, it prevents any leaks from, or, or it prevents any data from leaking. And yeah, that'll ensure uh, utmost security and performance in general. So I would recommend that you keep that on. And let's say that, that that's pretty much it. But let's say you're not willing to dish out as much cash for ExpressVPN because it's, it's really just a premium service and it definitely comes with a premium price uh, since it's one of the really just best if not the best vpn and most stable vpn out there let's say you don't really care that much about security but you still want to get you don't want to sacrifice too much on features and performance you can use nordvpn and nordvpn is great for those that you know it's it's really just great value because you're getting you're getting even more features you know you're getting dedicated ip you're getting custom dns you're getting onion over vpn specialty servers p2p specialty servers and a double vpn uh, uh servers here which will connect you through two tunnels or two ip addresses for extra 
security. And keep in mind that if you connect to double VPN servers, you'll get slower speeds because you're connecting through two um, servers. Now, with protocols, you also have, you know, three available protocols here. Uh, forget TCP, it's completely, it's just not a good protocol when in terms of download speed. So here, yeah, I would recommend no, uh, Nordlynx for, for top security, go with OpenVPN, always. Until it gets audited, until Nordlynx or WireGuard protocols get audited, we'll stick with OpenVPN because OpenVPN is the most audited protocol and it's been proven to be as secure as it gets. If you're not too worried about security, if you're not living in a heavy censorship country, you can just go with Nordlynx because it's just super quick. You know, you have a, an app kill switch feature here, which will kill your app instead of killing your connection. So that's pretty cool. Also, you get split tunneling and you get, a, a, a as I said earlier, a custom DNS and you get also uh, obfuscated servers, which is already uh, turned on when you uh, in ExpressVPN when you select this. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for this video. And obviously if you want to, you know, once you want, once you're done, you can just look through the map or you can search it up here. So that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, um, uh, post it down in the comments down below. I'd love to answer all kinds of questions, uh, to help you guys out. Hopefully, uh, stay safe and make sure that you're getting your VPN needs. And if you're interested in any of these VPNs, make sure to check the description below for links to special deals and offers. Besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.